Yo, yo, what's going on guys? So I decided I would record one last settings video before the new Call of Duty as well as Warzone 2. I also kind of wanted to run you guys through my whole warm-up routine, like even before I hop on Warzone, what that looks like, uh, as well as how I set up the bots and stuff like that. So yeah, without further ado, I'm not going to talk too much. Let's just get right into it. Alrighty guys, so the first thing I do before I even touch Call of Duty or load it up is I always load up Aim Lab. Um, and I play usually some of my older playlists that I made, but just for the sake of this video um, and for the sake of my future efficiency, I decided to create a warm up playlist. Um, so, yeah, in order to find it, you're going to go to the workshop here from the custom tab, go to playlist, and then search strafe in the shop. And then let's do this. Uh, this one with the green here with uh, warm up is the one I just created. You guys could also do these if you haven't played them before. Um, I do have a smoothness routine. I do have like an aim and movement one, a beginner like training routine. And then I have this one down here, which is kind of uh, war zone specific. It's about like intermediate to beginner difficulty. So you can play that one as well. Um, so yeah, let's just get into the warm up one. Uh, so for the description here, it says a simple warm up for Call of Duty that includes simple scenarios for tracking, target switching, um, and dynamic static click timing. So this is going to like expose you to all types of aiming, which is I think perfect for the warm up. Uh, the scenarios are not that hard each. That is the point of the warm up. This is not for training. This is just to get you ready to go and play Warzone. So yeah, without further ado, um, I'm going to go through this and just go through each scenario and um, show you guys like kind of what it is for. So guys, starting out here, we have RA Glider Easy. This is a simple tracking scenario. Uh, basically, you're just going to have a target drop down similar to like a glider from Fortnite and you're just gonna try your best to track it this is gonna work on a little bit of smoothness as well as precision um, this is one of my favorite scenarios actually so i decided to toss it in here next up we have close long chase invincible this again is another tracking scenario uh, this one is more focused on reactivity compared to like smoothness um, so yeah you just have a simple target here that's going to move along the x-axis and you just have to react uh, left and right to it Next up here, this is the first target switching one. This is RA Pat Circle Switch. Uh, basically, this is just a simple target switching scenario. You're going to have four targets in a box like this. Um, they are going to take a little bit uh, to kill, so you're going to have to track them for a little bit. And basically, you just have to try your best to um, kill them as fast as possible and switch between them as fast as possible. Next up here, we have the second target switching scenario for the playlist. Uh, this is Vox Target Switch by Aqua. Uh, this is a very similar one to the one previous. Um, you get like a box with four targets in it. Uh, these ones move a little bit slower and they take a little bit uh, less time to kill, but I do think this was good variety. But I do think this was good variety to compare it to the first one. But I do think this is good variety in addition to the first target switching one. And moving on here, this is the first click timing scenario. This is VT Psalm Angelic Click. Uh, this is going to work on your dynamic uh, or kinetic, whatever you want to call it, click timing. Um, you're going to have these targets that move around in the box. They're all one shot kill, so you only have to click them once. Uh, this is going to help you a lot with like sniper headshots and any one shot weapons or semi auto weapons. Uh, this is a great scenario. So if you guys are looking to actually improve your click timing, um, this is one of my favorites for that. And then next here we have a classic that I've been using in aim training for probably a couple of years. This is one wall six targets. This is one of the best scenarios to help develop your static click timing. Uh, basically, you just have static targets. They don't move around and they are also one shot kill. So you just try to click them as fast as you can while also being as precise as you can. So guys, that is going to wrap it up again, yo. Um, if you're looking to play my playlist, just go to the custom tab here. Go into workshop, playlist, strafe and the search bar and then one two three four and five down here these are all mine uh so yeah go knock yourself out everything you guys need will be linked down in the description um i also will probably put in some timestamps to make it a little bit easier to navigate this video if you ever want to come back to it uh so yeah also a huge shout out to aim lab guys are doing some crazy stuff like they're adding like 1v1s and stuff so if you guys are looking to do some fun stuff like that they also added like a friends list where you can select the title for your name um yeah all kinds of cool stuff being over done to aim lab so the link for the download will be in the description as well now let's go over to the call of duty sides of things and i will show you guys what i do there 
All right, yo, so for the first thing I do when I actually get into Call of Duty, I load up Modern Warfare 2019 because it's the same as the Warzone engine. I go into custom games and then I put on some bots. Uh, as for the map, y'all can really play whatever. I usually do Speedball, Rust, or Shipment. Uh, so here we just go to map Speedball mode. I do free for all. And then score limit, usually somewhere between like 200 and 400 for me. Uh, match start time to five seconds, time limit to unlimited. And then moving forward here to player tab, max health. If you guys want to train like more of your tracking, you could probably put this up to like 150 to 200. Uh, but most of the time I just usually do 130 or 100. And then health gen, I put that to fast. I don't normally change anything within the team. And then for gameplay, I put on maximum ammo as well as health steal and crank. Crank is just kind of for fun. It lets you run around a little bit faster. Uh, so I do enjoy warming up with that. And then for the bot setup, I do the maximum amount of bots. And then I always do recruit because if you do any higher, um, they're going to start throwing like flashes, smokes, uh, gas grenades, and all kinds of an annoying shit, uh, which you really don't need if you're just warming up. So um, that is why I do recruit. And then you just start it up and then shoot however many you want to. And yeah, that's all there is to it. All right, so moving on to the settings here, I feel like a lot of this guys doesn't really need explanation. Uh, however, with my mouse sensitivity, a lot of you guys ask why I change it so much. Um, so I usually change it between a range of like 2 to 5 or 2.5 to 3.0. Uh, it just kind of depends like what equipment I'm using, if it's faster or slower and kind of how I'm feeling that day. Uh, so it usually will be within that range. That is why it changes so much. Um, but at the end of the day, I recommend you guys use your own sensitivity anyways. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to run through all these settings. I'm not really going to talk because there's no explanation really. Uh, so yeah, if you guys need it, feel free to pause the video and enjoy it.